Hey guys, welcome back to the Summer Rain channel. So this video is, geez, maybe a little bit different than the ones that I normally do. I was messing around yesterday and I was making a bath bomb and then just trying a new recipe out. And this video isn't actually gonna show you how to make a bath bomb, but I will post like a link to one so then you have a recipe if you need it. Um, but this video is focusing more on how you paint a bath bomb. So. I mean, I think the bath bomb looks a lot better with the extra splash of color, and it really doesn't take that long to do. I just thought it was something that you guys might be interested in. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and paint a bath bomb. Now I'm gonna start by just putting a wee little bit of rubbing alcohol into my container. And to that, I'm gonna add mica powder. This might be this might be easier to mix up with a paintbrush. Now we want this to be a pretty thick paste. So we're just going to keep adding mica powder until we get there. Okay, and I think that is a good consistency right there. So once you have your paste made, you actually just come in on the bath bomb and start painting it. Because we're using rubbing alcohol with the mica powder, um, it shouldn't create a reaction to the bath bomb, but we want to use as little rubbing alcohol as we can, if that makes sense. Sometimes it will still cause just a bit of fizzing. And then we'll just paint on our design. I'm not the best painter, but I think you get the gist of it. And then right here I have a little bit of a clump, so I'm just going to kind of scoop that off. And then if you want to get more on the sides of your design, you just come in and touch it up a little bit. And that is how you can add color or paint a little bit of a design on your bath bombs. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have fun painting your designs on your bath bombs. Bye.